Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how to run a regression analysis in SPSS. The data set that we're looking at today has to do with middle schoolers and how many hours they study per week, <clears throat> labeled as study time, and their overall GPA. And we're trying to see uh, if, uh, study, if the number of hours that we increase our time spent studying will in turn increase our GPA and whether there's a causation that exists there from this re regression. So we're going to click uh, Analyze, and then we're going to go down to Regression and click Linear. For our purposes, we're going to insert GPA, or the dependent variable, uh, meaning what we're trying to predict, and the independent variable we're going to slide over here, Study Time, so that uh, depending upon can we change the, this variable or variables in other sets uh, in order to uh, change the GPA in turn. We're going to click statistics and make sure that we have two different regression coefficient um, uh, boxes ticked, the estimates and the confidence intervals set to 95% for most educational research purposes. We're going to click model fit and also descriptives, which is oftentimes preset there. Then we're going to click plots and we're going to insert the uh, Z residual value on the Y axis and the Z predictor value on the X axis from these options here. Those are the two most common used. Um, and then we're going to click histogram and normal probability plot. All of those plots will help you visualize what the data that's previously presented uh, within the statistics tab here uh, from, a, uh, from the tables that are presented in the output file that will be computed as soon as we click this button. So if we look here, um, <clears throat> we can see that the overall average GPA for this class of middle schoolers is a 3.11 with the number uh, of uh, study hours per week spent uh, to be 5.8. So 5.8 hours is the average number of hours per week spent studying. We can see that the correlation value between the two is a 0.86, which is a relatively high correlation between, uh, that, between study time and GPA, but that alone does not necessarily um, uh, predict uh, those two. That's simply just the correlational uh, analysis that's part of the regression um, uh, the regression analysis necessary that we conduct here in SPSS. This box right here, this table looks uh, at some variables that are removed, which oftentimes has to do with multiple regression for our purposes today. We're not going to be looking at that. <clears throat> that's why they're empty. Uh, for the model summary, it again repeats what the correlation Pearson R value is here, 0.86, which again is, is, is very high. Uh, but it also gives you two other values. One is the R square, which means if we slide this point over uh, to, we can see that 73.9% of GPA can be attributed to the number of hours spent studying, which is a very high um, uh, a percentage. And then uh, depending upon the sample size that you're working with, the adjusted R square um, tries to uh, adjust things depending upon that, uh, uh, other factors that might attribute to the overall um, the overall values computed in the in the R square. So this tries to adjust things, and you will see that <clears throat> it, the more dramatic the difference is between the two, oftentimes can be attributed to a small sample size. So we see that there's not a whole lot of difference here, uh, which means our sample size is probably okay. <clears throat> we can go ahead and look further uh, in terms of uh, the mean square and the in the uh, the F and the level of significance and so forth, which is just another way of representing some of the other information presented right here, the 0.86. <clears throat> but this box in particular uh, interests me because uh, we can assume that if zero hours are spent studying, that students would have a 2.14 GPA in this class. And for every hour spent studying, the GPA could be increased by uh, 0.18. 0.168. So with that said, you could do a quick estimate and say, in order to increase this GPA by one full point to go up to 3.14 or so, uh, how many of these would be necessary? And you could say around six or so. So my estimate would be six more hours necessary to go up uh, one full grade point average. And that would be checked right here, where you'd have the mean average right here. And time spent studying is 5.8, which is pretty close to what we were talking about right there. <clears throat> so that's an interesting way to predict and to be able to inform other stakeholders as if to say, you know, if, if students increased their study, their number of hours studying per week by five, 
uh, this would be the likely outcome uh, from that. And being able to predict those values definitely um, <clears throat> from a quantitative standpoint um, uh, will hold weight with a number of different stakeholders, whether that be uh, school administrators, whether that be a university administration, or the Office of Institutional Research, or your direct supervisor, or parents, or students alike. So there's um, a <clears throat> great value in being able to regress some of this information out. We can also see that these variables here in the coefficient box are going to be necessary to include within your APA write-up of the regression output. So you're going to include the t-value, this level of significance, uh, the confidence intervals, both the upper and lower bound uh, there. Um, so again, those things are valuable. You'll see more about that in chapter nine of the uh, HUC text that I have right here, uh, looking at both correlation and regression analyses. <clears throat> again, we can go further. Um, you know, you can do some, some scatter plots to check uh, to make sure that this uh, 0.86 value uh, is visually uh, represented there. Um, so again, we can look at a number of different things, different approaches, both visually as well as um, from a computational standpoint to sort of serve as a double check in that overall process of doing a regression analysis in SPSS. I thank you for joining me today and look forward to working with you again.